Elon Musk finally revealed Starship's major designs changes. After the information revealed about the new Starship S25 fitted with the Super Heavy Booster 9, there is finally the time to know more about the upgrades in the newly established Starship. The company's CEO, Elon Musk, has officially announced the better to perform upgrades after a long time on its own empire, Twitter. It's pretty sure that the company has been building a more powerful Starship after the failure of the first Starship launch in the Orbital Flight Test 1. And, as said by Musk, they have built it within the eight weeks of timeline with much better upgrades. In a space discussion on Twitter, Musk said SpaceX is implementing well over a thousand changes, and I think the probability of this next flight working, getting to orbit, is much higher than the last one. Maybe it's like 60%. It depends on how well we do at stage separation. You listen to what he says? Why does he focus more on stage separation? Well, our daily watchers must know this. It's because the first orbital flight was a failure just because of this reason. The Starship at its initial launch was unable to separate its super heavy booster and the Starship and soon self-destructed on its way. It was found that just after reaching 24 miles away from the ground, the Starship almost started to fall because its 12 Raptor engines started to shut off automatically. The company in this case was pressured to activate the self-destruct system and just six miles away from the ground, it blasted. By remembering this accident in mind, the company has fitted the new Booster 9 with 33 methane-powered Raptor engines and Starship with six Raptor engines. Musk has announced that the second launch will have a better stage separation than the first one. He emphasizes a late-breaking change that's really quite significant. During the first flight, the company has designed their project to turn off the Super Heavy booster first and then turn on the Starship's boosters after separation. But, this time, they have planned something else. The new S-25 and Booster 9 together will take a flight by the Super Heavy booster's Raptor engines and then, after reaching the Earth's orbit, the Ship 25 engines will start to work along with the booster engines. It means that Starship engines will start before the booster's engine turns off. This technique has been widely used by the Russians' rockets for many years and is known as the hot staging technique. According to Musk, this will help in better stage separation and a better performance of the Super Heavy booster. But it also has a bit of a disadvantage. We shut down most of the engines on the booster, leaving just a few running and then, at the same time, start the engines on the ship or upper stage, he said. Obviously, that results in kind of blasting the booster, so you've got to protect the top of the boost stage from getting incinerated by the upper stage engines. By this statement, Musk was leading our way to somewhere else, and that was the shield. Yes, the super heavy booster will be protected with a shield to avoid blast during stage separation. It will feature an extension vent so that the upper engine exhaust blows only a little amount of smoke during the initial startup. The hot staging technique can increase the Starship's payload to orbit capacity by around 10%, said Musk. But it isn't that easy. Musk said, in order to do this, you actually have to have vents. The super hot plasma from the upper stage engines has got to go somewhere. So we're adding an extension to the booster that is almost all vents, essentially. So that allows the upper engine plume to go through the vented extension of the booster and not just blow itself up. So this is the most risky thing, I think, for the next flight. Musk said engineers are making adjustments to the Raptor's hot gas manifold, which feeds superheated methane-rich gas towards the combustion chamber to address engine issues noticed during the rocket's first flight. The bolt holes where the manifold is fastened may develop leak roots as a result of the high temperatures. Musk said that the bolts will be tightened more securely and that bolt hole leak pathways will be eliminated using greater torque settings and a redesigned manifold. Damage to the Super Heavy Booster and Starship launch pad at SpaceX's Boca Chica, Texas, flight test facility is yet another significant problem that is being addressed by the company. The launch pad was severely damaged during the first flight and was lost in ash. The first stage Raptor Angines exhaust badly damaged the pad's concrete footings during the Super Heavy's first flight. According to Musk, the business is currently constructing an additional 1,000 cubic meters of steel-reinforced, high-strength concrete. Additionally, the business is mounting a steel plate with a water spout there, according to Musk. 
in order to shoot a lot of water out, he added, on top of that, we have a sort of steel sandwich, which is basically two thick plates of steel that are welded together with channels going through perforations in the top. Imagine it is a huge, upside-down shower head. To combat the intense heat from the booster, it will essentially blast water upward when the rocket is above the pad. The booster essentially functions as the largest cutting torch in the world, producing enormous amounts of force and heat and the water plate will counter it to avoid launch pad damage. It was very necessary for the company to redesign the launch pad along with the Starship upper stage and its super heavy booster. This new design of the launch pad will not only help the company to reduce the damage at the launch pad, but it will also help the entire vehicle to go much higher and get more throttle to go faster in the sky. The 33 methane-powered Raptor engines at the Super Heavy Booster will not only help the rocket to get a thrust from the ground, but will also spin the entire vehicle so that it reaches the lower Earth orbit without any problems. Looking into it all in brief, there were new engines in the Super Heavy Booster as well as in the Starship. 33 Raptor engines, fully powered for the booster and 6 for Starship. Many upgrades in the Booster 9 than the previous one, Booster 7. Ship 25 has much more payload capacity and is a bit upgraded. The booster will be equipped with an outer shield to protect it from blasting during the hot staging process and the installment of water plates at the launch pad. This was all in brief was the design changes that Musk has recently announced. But, there's still one question left, one major question. It's pretty well known all around the world that the Starship's self-destruct system took more time than expected to get activated, and it also needs to be redesigned by the software engineers of the company. Musk also has not discussed this in his tweets or recordings. Before a launch license is issued for the newly designed and established Starship, the FAA must approve that the entire system and any other safety-related improvements have been fully functional and working as expected. No more time has left for their second launch. Just to wait for a couple of weeks to see the biggest rocket ever to reach the Earth's orbit. The company has performed all kinds of tests with the new Ship 25 and the Super Heavy Booster 9. Not just these, the highly needed water plate at the launch pad is also under many tests. Musk has discussed almost every single design changes in the new Starship. Now, what's most awaited is the launch date. And for that, you have to subscribe to our channel and press that notification bell and set it to all so that you'll always get notified whenever we post a new video. We will surely let you know every single detail about the new Starship in our further videos. Comment down your favorite design change and leave a like on the video as well.